Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a complexion video. Yes, this time I did not forget the confetti and party horns that we do on this channel for complexion videos. We're going to look at a brand new foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Tint Stick foundation. I picked mine up in the shade 7. We are going to talk all about it, try it on, and do hopefully a long wear test. I don't know how much time we'll have, but I'm going to really try to push it for you guys. Okay, this product is $35. It is a stick foundation that comes in 25 shades. I chose shade 7 because I have some other Fenty products in shade 7. Um, it looks pretty stretchy. With 25 shades, we know that Fenty wrote the book on inclusivity in terms of shade choice of foundations. They often have 50, 51 shades. So having only 25 you only for Fenty, you know they're going to be very stretchy. I am wearing the 7 right now. This is the freshly applied. The wear test will be later on in the video. Um, I think I could have gone with shade 6 as well. This is a natural finish, creamy, smooth foundation that is meant to blur and melt into the skin. It is supposed to be crease proof and transfer proof, we'll see, and feel like a second skin. It is supposed to not fade during the day, which is why I'm hoping to give this a nice long wear test, and is a hundred percent recyclable. It is generally light to medium coverage, but it can be worn even lighter by applying directly to the face, all the way to pressing it in with a sponge or applying directly to a foundation brush for the fullest coverage. But it's really gonna be light to medium. Let me show it to you here. Beautiful case, actually. Plastic, but I mean, you know, really pretty. Well done, very tasteful. Pull that off and we have a traditional stick foundation there that rolls up and then right back down, which you gotta remember to do before you cap it, even if you're in a hurry. It won't be forgiving that way, I'll tell you that much. Now, I owe something to Fenty, I feel, not really, but you know what I mean. I have a love-hate relationship with Fenty complexion products. I love the principle of it, I love the inclusivity, I love the shade choice. I, they just don't always get along with my skin. This can be worn underneath this blur tint, the um, eavesdrop blur, the tint. No, not the blur tint, the tint, right? Um, I hated this. I have made peace with it since. When this first came out, I gave it a horrific review. I felt it separated, I felt it was patchy. Literally, I just did not like it. I have since tried it with kind of a dewy primer, and I like it a lot more. In fact, I would even say I actually verged on liking it then, but we didn't have a great relationship. So I hear eavesdrop and I think, hmm, we'll just see about that. Um, so maybe uh, they're going to surprise me this time. We shall see. And the reason I say that is I have done the demo and I am wearing it, newly wearing it, but I, I'm feeling positive. I don't know what the wear test is going to bring, but I'm feeling kind of positive. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to go to the demo so you can see me uh, putting it on. And then I'm going to just let it ride today. It's a Saturday. I'm just going to let it go and we'll see how many hours hours we can get uh, before we report back for a wear test. So let's do that right now. Okay, so it's Saturday morning and I'm going to wear this foundation all day and give it a test. So I'm not doing anything else. What you just saw was it freshly applied and what you're going to see after this demo will be a wear test as many hours as I can get done. Let me tell you what we're going to do here. I am not wearing any sort of a primer. It's easy drop stick blur and smooth tint stick could be used in a way as a primer uh, if you wanted to put the tint over it. It could be worn full, it could be worn with powder, it could be worn with concealer. What I have done is underneath I have put a little bit of color corrector here and here and around my nose. And that's all we're going to do. I really let it kind of sit and sink in. I don't want to add any concealer over the top. I'm repeating myself if you've seen my um, any of my complexion videos before, but I just want you to know, sometimes if it's going to go into lines, you really don't know if that's the powder or the concealer. You know, I don't want to taint anything. So let's really just do this one today. So we have two ways to do this. We can wear it kind of lightly and just put it across the skin and use the hands you guys hate. And YouTube land does not like hands on the face, but I have very clean hands, so I might do a little bit of that. I did bring a brush over. You can also apply directly to the brush and onto the face. Um, that will give you a little fuller coverage. And you can also take a sponge and kind of press it into the skin. Let's just see one side of the face right now. 
Um, I'm just putting, I hope not too much, because I have not done this before. And remember, I'm not going to add concealer. So this is the shade 7. Uh, I have other products with in the shade 7, so I'm kind of, I could have been a 6, but I'm kind of guessing on this one. Okay, let's see. I think I did okay on the shade. I mean, maybe it's a tad bit warm, but I think it's, it's okay, isn't it, guys? I mean, you know, I, I won't have half my face. Um, I am using the brush mostly I might just use my hands if it were just me generally in YouTube land people don't like hands on the face they feel it pulls the skin so that would be my number one um, reprimand we have all nice comments but a lot of people go oh your skin you touched your skin I don't know. okay so I don't want to upset anyone all right so I have done obviously as you just saw this side of the face with this new Fenty Beauty and this side has nothing. A little bit of color corrector here and here. And that's it. What do we think? I'm going to do the other side of the face, I mean, obviously. But what do we think? It looks pretty. I'm kind of curious how it will sit. All right, let me speed it up and do the rest of the face. Stay right there. Okay, just looking at my skin. Wow looks very natural, feels very natural. I think I did okay on the shade. I mean, I'm gonna put makeup over it, not a lot, but I think I did okay. I mean, when you compare to my neck, what do you think? My hands, not bad, right? I mean, it, you know, it matches well enough. Very stretchy shades. So interestingly enough, right now, and it's been on for what, a minute? Looks really good, definitely lives up so far we'll see, to the blurring, uh, to the fact that it blurs. I don't see anything here, here. I'm looking at what we're starting out with. Paying particular attention, I see some pores right there, but nothing bad. It definitely seems to be blurring. It's extraordinarily comfortable. Feels really lightweight. I don't feel anything on my skin. So far, so good. I'm not going to add the tint. We're just going to let this one ride. What I'm going to do now um, is I am going to, they say recap it, so I will recap it. I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup. Not, no concealer, no powder, however. Um, setting powder, that is. I might put on some powder blush or cream. Um, but I will put on the Colored Cosmetics. And then we will have the intro. And then now, though, you're going to see this after, I don't know how many hours. Let me see how many I can get in there. Stay right there. Okay, you guys are going to be so proud of me. I didn't do anything today. This is a 10-hour wear test. That's right. That's right, it's a good old wear test. I don't even have to put an update on the bottom of the screen. I can take it off now and get ready for bed. Okay, I did reapply the uh, Fenty Poutsicle, uh, the limited edition, kind of cool orangey purple one. I'll have that all listed below. That is reapplied. Here on the face, I did not add any finishing powder. Keep in mind, I do not have oily, uh, an oily complexion. I have very, very normal skin maybe even normal to dry. So there's no uh, finishing powder, there's, as you know, no primer and no concealer, which means I might, you know, be a little dark under the eyes and such, but I just didn't want to not know what was creasing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so let's take a look together. I see areas here and here where I needed concealer In obviously I didn't add that. Around the nose, creasing a tad bit. It is not bad though, that can be fixed like that. And that is fairly usual for me. Um, around the eyes, I definitely need some concealer. There are some lines underneath the eyes, but um, I'm not gonna put that onto the Fenty product for two reasons. Number one, I don't really just out of habit, I just don't pile um, foundation under my eyes. I let concealer do that, so there's a little bit up there, but probably that little bit that we're seeing is my expressiveness, I like to call it, and just that they're they're mine. Those those come with me, you know what I'm saying? So but and it's not outrageous. It's not like I would be out talking to you and you would be like, wow, well, for someone with a YouTube channel, she's sure got a lot of settling happening under her eyes. You wouldn't think that. So it, that's fine. Um, the amount of pores shown on my forehead that are also my pores, entirely my doing, <laughs> um, that, that has not gotten worse. It's not blurred as much as maybe it could be, but it's certainly not showing and they have not progressed uh, throughout the hours. Uh, the skin looks really, really good. It's holding the makeup. I went with a cream 
blush with a little bit of a powder blush over and a cream, a liquid actually, highlighter. Um, and I have some powder bronzer on. Again, all will be in the description bar if you are curious. And I've reapplied the lipstick. I have a little bit of settling into pores on the nose and that looks to be the, um, I put a little bit of highlighter just kind of on this part of the nose. That appears to be that, but I did want to point that out. Little bit there, little bit there. But so far I'm really enjoying it. You know, I did not like the, um, the Ease Drops, um, the original one. I don't mind this with a really dewy primer, but I felt this really separated and pulled on me, and I do not feel the same about this product. I think it's actually a really nice, fairly, you know, as far as high-end makeup goes, affordable stick foundation, and I am definitely gonna give this a thumbs up. It feels like I have nothing on my face. The only thing I feel on my face right now is I put some lip gloss over the pouticle, and I feel that. And if I were wearing the Huda One Coat Wow Mascara, which I do love, but I'm not wearing it, I would probably feel that, but I don't feel any makeup on my face. And I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you can kind of like go, what do I feel on my face? It's a very zen thing, I suppose. Um, and I don't feel anything happening on my face. I feel um, very put together pretty. I don't have a lot of makeup on at all, not at all. Um, and a very light application of this. I think I did all right indeed with the color and probably could have gone with the six as well. I think this is a very nice for warmer weather into the cooler months stick foundation and I think it would be lovely also if you like fuller foundation you could put this on fuller coverage or even add a little bit of maybe a you know liquid foundation over the top if you really want to build. I think that would work really well and I will continue to experiment with it but for now after a really nice long wear test I'm giving this a complete and utter thumbs up and I am uh, really enjoying it. So this is a this is a good one. I'm just made giving you more choice. But I you know it's I just have a lot of people that want a good stick foundation. I always recommend Tom Ford, Bosma, but this is gonna be up there. As especially as I play with it more. You know what I mean? Alright, did you order this? What shade did you get? Did you get the right shade? Did it come yet? Have you tried it? I want to know everything. I like this. I feel I've made it up to the world of Fenty because I didn't like this one. So let me know what you think. That's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. It is true that YouTube recommends creators you have already seen anyway. But if you actually hit subscribe, it really helps me. And I appreciate that very, very much. Also, come on by and say hello on Instagram, TikTok, and on Thread. Reds. And don't forget that you can become a bigger member of this YouTube community by becoming an actual channel member for our weekly Gossipy Lives. You can also order from the links down below. It helps the channel a little bit. Or you can even give super thanks. But in all honesty, in any way that you have chosen to spend your time here with me, I am greatly appreciative. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.